In episode seven, Sam has arrived back in the LaRusso's house. She went away to visit her grandmother for a little bit, but she's back. And both Daniel and Amanda apologize, telling Sam that she was right about Cobra Kai the whole time. Daniel has agreed to reopen the dojo, realizing that these kids do need to defend themselves. The only issue is, Sam has zero interest in ever doing karate again. She storms off, and Amanda lets Daniel know that she's pretty sure Sam hasn't been sleeping that well. So Daniel takes the day off from work, and him and Sam go fishing. They've been fishing in years. Actually, the last time they did go fishing was with Mr. Miyagi. That's how long it's been. Daniel tries to get out of her what exactly is going on and why she doesn't want to do karate, and she tells him, I froze. She watched her friends get hurt, she watched Dimitri get his arm broken, and she couldn't do anything. On top of it, she's having these panic attacks, and she's worried that she's never going to be able to defend herself again. Daniel lets the conversation go until they get back to the car, but has Sam walk him through what went down in the fight. She tells him that when the fight started, she couldn't really move or breathe. And it really came about when she saw Tori for the first time since the brawl at the school. Doesn't help matters that she's been replaying Robbie running away and Miguel falling over and over in her head. Daniel tells her that what happened to Dimitri is not her fault and decides to take her to the All Valley Sports Arena. Sure, he knows that this is where her dad defeated Johnny Lawrence, but he says no. This is also the place where I almost lost to fear. He explains that in his second All Valley, he was going up against a kid from Cobra Kai who was beating the ever-loving piss out of him, and he wanted to quit. He wanted to give in to fear. But it was Mr. Miyagi who reminded him, you can lose to your opponent, but you can't lose to fear. That is unacceptable. So, Daniel got up, defeated him, and won, becoming the two-time champ. And yeah, what Mr. Miyagi said, Daniel needed to hear in that moment. But ultimately, it came down, ah, but ultimately, it came down to Daniel. Daniel needed the, ah, it came down to Daniel. Daniel needed to be the one to get up. Daniel needed to be the one to win the All-Valley. He tells Sam, you're going to have to be the one to get up and not give in to fear. Fear lives in all of us. You just can't let it control you. And when they get home, his little pep talk worked because him and Sam go back in the dojo and start training, and she's starting to have fun again doing it. Over with Johnny, he continues to help Miguel on his rehabilitation. And Miguel does so well that they end up tossing both the crutches and the wheelchair. They head back to Johnny's place where Johnny is just refreshing the Facebook message wondering why Allie hasn't responded yet, while Miguel is focusing on the important things, starting up a new dojo, and more importantly, getting a name for it. Johnny knows they need a badass name. Unfortunately, Cobra Kai is already taken. They also need students, and luckily, Miguel's first day back at school is the next day. So he's going to try to round up some recruits. And Miguel enters the school to an ovation. Everybody's happy to see Miguel back, including Eli, who daps him up and tells him how Cobra Kai has been killing it lately. But Miguel says, yeah, I need to talk to you about that when they're interrupted by the school bell, so they agree to catch up later. Miguel has been able to stay friends, though, with Eli and Dimitri. And this is the first time that Miguel is seeing Dimitri since he broke his arm. So he asks him, hey man, what happened to your arm? And Dimitri says, "Uh, we got a lot to catch up on, and fills him in on the fight at the laser tag place. And what happened? And that really pisses off Miguel. At lunch, he walks up to Eli and says, dude, I heard what you did to Dimitri. But Eli continues with this bullshit rhetoric that they're the enemy. They started it. And Miguel says, that's not what our sensei taught us. But Eli tells him, Johnny Lawrence is not my sensei. And Miguel can't believe that after everything Johnny did for this kid, he's ready to walk out on him. But Eli tells him, Johnny Lawrence betrayed us. And Miguel just starts shaking his head, saying, I know this isn't you talking. I know it's Crease. He's gotten into your head. You know, you can change this if you leave Cobra Kai. Sensei Lawrence is starting a new dojo. And word of this ends up piquing Eli's interest, but the two are interrupted when Kyler gets the attention of the entire cafeteria. Because Kyler, sporting a sweet new Cobra Kai shirt, is bullying Dimitri, and has signed his cast with a giant dick on it. All the kids in the cafeteria start laughing at Dimitri, and he's forced to just run away. Although there is one person who's not laughing, and ironically, it's Yasmin. But this outburst kind of proves Miguel's point, who looks at Eli and says, These are your new friends now? The guys who used to pick on you? Real cool, and walks off. Unfortunately for Dimitri, the bullying doesn't stop, though. It continues with Kyler smacking him in the head when he's down picking up his books. And Yasmin sees it and feels bad for him, so she signs his cast, writing, I love your big dick. And Dimitri can't believe that she did that for him. She's never really been nice to him. But she tells Dimitri, after the whole front wedgie thing, she knows what it's like to be laughed at by everybody, and it's not a good feeling. The two are even kind of sharing a moment, but Yasmin walks away before it can escalate to anything but that. Just a moment. Johnny, though, has snuck into the school to tell Miguel that he's found a sweet spot for their new dojo. Johnny just learned about the magic of public parks. More importantly, the fact that they're free. He also wants an update on the recruiting aspect, and Miguel tells him, unfortunately, all these kids have drank the Kool-Aid, Sensei. None of them want to leave Cobra Kai. But over his shoulder, Johnny sees most of the kids from Cobra Kai, including Eli, and he walks up trying to pitch them. 
apologizing, saying what I did was selfish. I let you guys down. I shouldn't have done that. And what happened at this school and the brawl, it hurt me to my core. But Eli says, you gave up on us long before that fight. And to his credit, Johnny doesn't back down, walking up to Eli and saying, you were baby shit soft when you came into that dojo. I made you who you are. Not John Kreese. I did that. So if you guys want to throw your life down the drain, go ahead. Stick with Cobra Kai. Stick with John Kreese. Or you can join my dojo. Learn karate the right way. He gives them an address and a time and hopes that they show up. But the next day, when it's the first training session of Johnny's new dojo, the only kids that show up are Miguel and the kids who were kicked out of Cobra Kai for, quote, not being Cobra Kai material. He tells all the new kids that the dojo's name is going to be Eagle Fang Karate. And as he starts handing out t-shirts and the kids are putting them on, Eli, along with a couple others, pop out from behind a bush, walking towards them. And Johnny's pumped, as is Miguel, thinking that Eli's about to join their dojo. But behind them is Tori and Kyler. And behind them is John Kreese along with the rest of Cobra Kai. Eli tells the group, I told you guys, I'm Cobra Kai for life. And John Kreese tells Johnny, I'm not here to fight. I want you back. You belong in Cobra Kai. But Johnny says, you're crazy if you think I'll ever work with you again. What you're filling these kids' heads with, what they're doing, it's bullshit. And you're to blame for that. But Kreese says, I disagree with that. I care about my students. And my students are strong. They would never show mercy and end up in a coma. And when Miguel hears that, he steps towards John Kreese. But Eli steps towards Miguel. Although both of the senseis push their students back. Kreese tells Johnny, though, this is it. This is your one chance to come back. There's not going to be another. Johnny tells Kreese, kick rocks, get out of here. Thank you so much for watching this recap. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video if you liked it. Hit thumbs down if you thought it sucked. If you don't see the next video up in the end screen, don't worry. It'll be up soon. And please be nice in the comments section. Nobody likes being told they suck, even if it's true. Oh, and you know, sharing's caring.